Hi, I'm ZZ, and look, I've got a new hat. I am now officially the Ticketmaster of the server. So I guess I kind of already was, but now I look extra official with my kind of goofy looking hat. <laughs> it kind of looks, oh, oh god. I'm not entirely sure if I'm wearing this right. It seems a little bit high up on my head, but I like how it looks. I It matches my skin very nicely, and I feel so official with it on. And this hat also kind of signifies something very cool with the rail in that we are almost ready for opening. There's been one major roadblock in actually getting the rail up and running, and that has been the tickets, as we initially... Oh, where they, uh, there they are. So on this server, we're going to be using iron nuggets as our tickets, but I don't really like how these look compared to uh, paper. It's just these are way easier to get. But as a way of getting around that, I have made a custom texture. So if I just quickly do the command... Flash trigger... Uh, uh, oh, I don't know. One, I think it. Do I just do one? No, set one. Yeah, look, look. I have made these custom ticket textures and I love them. And I don't just have uh, blue ones, I've also got some other colors. So let's just kind of grab one of each. But look, so I've got a blue one, I've got a green one, I've got. Uh, that's the orange one, I've got a pink one, purple, red. Oh, bit of a limp throw there. Nope, too strong now. Nope, too limp. Too strong. Too limp. There we go. Yep, so here we go. We've got a full rainbow. This is definitely the order of a rainbow. I don't worry about that bit. We now can use these as our actual tickets for the system. So what I'm thinking is that everyone will have kind of their own color. Obviously, you're going to have more than seven stations. So we can have a bit of customization with the tickets, even though you're rarely ever going to see them. But to actually make use of all these tickets, I'm going to have to rename them, which is not going to be a fun process, as there's a lot of tickets to name. But I'm also going to have to name all of the routes, actually, now that I think about it, which is even less fun. So I'm over here by M's base, because I have a brand new roundabout over here. I just kind of want to show it off because I lost the recording. I want to quickly go over some little tidbits about tickets that I've never really mentioned before in videos, I don't think. If I have, well, they're kind of scattered everywhere. So let's just do this a little quick ticket, a, a, a quick a, a, a little, a little quick tick, ticket time. Let's go, ticket time. Oh, hello. Firstly, here's the roundabout. Oh, look at it, so pretty. Anyways, so as I said earlier, normally I either use iron nuggets or what kind of. My throw button's not working. Uh, so, normally I either use iron nuggets or paper, but recently Kieran has been developing a system that uses banners. So for a little bit of context, the system as a whole is a collaboration between me and my friends, Kieran and Joe. I'll have links in the description to their channels. The ticket stuff has been a main effort by Kieran, as I really I get a bit lost by it. it. Basically, on our other server, we are slowly transitioning to using banners as tickets. And it might sound a little bit arbitrary, but the reason is pretty cool, actually. So basically, something unique about banners is that if you were to set one up, if you were to name one, I mean, uh, let's name it John. John with a lowercase j. John! Do I not have a loom? I don't have a loom. Oh god, let's hope that M has one. So if I quickly give John here a uh, pattern, let's say give him a nice cross. Something very special about John here, and just banners in general, is that if you craft together two banners, it will duplicate the banner. And now you have double John. So yeah, so tickets are now completely craftable. But there's... The, oh, uh, through the gap. There is another bit that makes them even cooler. Because of the autocraft in 1.21, we can now auto craft tickets as well. If I just put in John here with another banner and just go boop, we now have a crafted ticket, which basically means you can just completely skip having to name over every single item and you can set up machines that will automatically craft up tickets for you and restock your system without ever having to worry about running out of tickets or any of that, 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 that uh, any, uh, uh, it's, it's good, I like it, it's so cool. I think Kieran has a pretty much complete ticket machine design, but I am not nearly qualified enough to talk about it, so uh, you can check out the Discord, I believe, in the Rail System channel, there's some mentions of it there, and I'll leave designs and stuff to his discretion. Now, there are a few issues with this design, is that banners are a lot more expensive than using an iron nugget, 
but luckily they are completely farmable since you can farm uh, wool and sticks and then just craft them up together and make the infinite amount of them so that's not a bother anyways I'm not going to be actually using the banner system in this design or in this uh, server just because I haven't really got the infrastructure for it the stations I mean the junctions could easily just be set up to use the tickets but the stations just aren't prepared for it and rather than trying to retroactively fit them with the banner system I think I'm just going to commit to using the original Iron Nugget system and then in future systems on other worlds and stuff I will use the banner system. Whee! So let's go to the end and do a bunch of ticket naming. Oh this is going to take a while. Okay this took way too long. I severely overdid it. So each of these shulker boxes here is completely filled to the brim with tickets. And I may have overdone it a little bit because I filled each shulker box with the same ticket. And yeah, this is this is way too many tickets. There is not a chance that there is going to be this many CC tickets used on the server. But I figured it'll definitely cover us for the entire season. And I that that's fine. That makes it worth it in my eyes. And each of these ones back here are station tickets. So these are all tickets for different people on the server. So in these sets of shulker boxes here, these are all of the route tickets. So these are the tickets at each junction that will basically tell the minecart which way to go at that junction. But I've done something a little bit weird with the names. Uh, I'll get into that in a later bit. But just know that every single track should have... That's not tickets. <laughs> uh, just know that... Oh, I forgot to text some of them. I thought... Oh, I've got to text loads of them. Oh, no, I'm not done. <laughs> Yeah, so each of these covers basically every track that is currently built. I will add more tickets as we make tracks. I just don't know exactly what the final layout is, so I don't want to start making tickets for tracks that don't even exist yet. And it's not like that. It's not like it's exactly that hard to make the tickets. It's just tedious. <laughs> but I need somewhere to store these, because this is a lot of tickets. Uh, and I kind of want to have some like, central hub for it. And what I'm thinking is maybe just over here. So this is the back side of the station, and I kind of forgot that I hadn't finished it. It's uh, it's kind of just open right now. Hello. Egg. So what I'm thinking is I might roll with it and actually just add a little building. I've used a stone here to sort of signify that. But I might add a little building to the side of it, which will be my ticket office. And that way I have easy access to not only this set of barrels, but I'll have a nice storage for every single ticket. So if anyone does happen to run out of a certain ticket, they can come over to the ticket office and just take some extras to then restock their their, their, their barrels back at their stations. Though I doubt that anyone is going to be using any ticket more than 64 times. I forgot to texture these ones. So let's quickly make up a uh, ticket office design. I, I have not really got this far yet, so <laughs> this might be a bit of a process. I haven't really thought about what it's going to look like yet. So I could pretty easily just extend this with brick, but I think I want to go for like an extension vibe where it's intentionally like very different from the original sort of nice brickwork building. And then you, they've added like a more modern style like well extension and uh, we'll see how that goes. OK, so if I got got of, if I got of so go with what? Yeah, so what I'm thinking is maybe having a very glassy vibe as if like it is super modern. So I want to switch these out for stripped logs. I'm, okay, I'm going to do a bit of a... a, 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 a I'm going to place the logs down and just see where it takes me. To explain how weird of a day I've been having, I knew that I needed some upside down stairs. So I just tried to craft upside down stairs. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm stuck. Help. Ah. Yeah. So this is where I am currently at. It's a very different style than I'm used to. I'm trying to do it in a sort of... I don't think this is modern. I think I've kind of went in a different direction. I just don't know where I've landed. But I'm liking the look of it with these like glass walls. And then over here we have more of this sort of like hardwood plank. Uh, I don't know what this is. I'd imagine that this is actually like a facade. This isn't real. This is probably like... A brick wall back here, but then it's just kind of got some like fake planks on the front, like probably vinyl or something. And then I'm gonna have a little seating area maybe out here, but this this little this little hole in the wall is gonna be a uh, the ticket area. So like in universe, you would come over here and like, you you buy your ticket and then you get on the station just over this way and stuff. 
And then there's also one on the inside as well for more complicated ticket. I I I, I don't take trains. Uh, <laughs> but over here would be where I actually store all of the tickets. So you'd come back here and just grab whichever barrels or whichever tickets you are running low on. Okay, so... Oh, 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 oh. So up on the roof, I'm kind of leaning towards just doing it flat. Like, just having the straight flat. I think I need to put in the brick wall back here. I can't remember how it looks. It's... Wow, great rocket. Thank you. Let's just get up. That's going to overshoot the building, isn't it? Yeah. Hi, Kung Fu. Uh, I made these plots. No one's used them yet. I don't know if people actually know these are the free use. <laughs> if you're watching this, any backyard... Back... Backyardigans? Is that what we call backyardies? Yadahoos. Any Yadahoos who are watching this, uh, you can build there. I have no plans. I just kind of gestured the idea of buildings. I see a secret. Press to get short. Fascinating. Okay, so this is starting to be a thing. I'm not 100% sold. I think I need to start doing the interior and get back to the roof later. I think maybe lining it with spruce? Yeah, that's alright. And then I, I've been really liking tough stuff recently. Okay, that, that sure is flooring. This isn't really the important room, but this gives the basic idea. I, I'm not very good at doing open interiors. I, I like having very structured, cosy rooms, so this, this feels unnatural to me. So let's make something a little bit more lived in back here. Okay, I think this is a good start, so maybe let's just do a quick little... And here we are with the... Uh, the the storage room it's all it's all in it took forever <laughs> god what a nightmare but I've gone for quite a chaotic sort of storage system honestly the signs might be a bit much I maybe didn't need the colors to be like this but I like it but actually a lot of these tickets here are for a junction that doesn't even actually exist right now so if I just quickly go over this way we so this co oh treat so this corner over here between uh duct and then like cherry and sprinkles area over here. This is going to be a roundabout, and I need to actually build it, as I've not really done that yet. And once I can do that, I can give you a quick demonstration of how our ticket system is going to work on this server. If you want to see more of how the roundabout design works, uh, you should check out the video. I'll link it in the description, because I made a tutorial on how to make it. It is pretty cool. It's basically just a new version of my old roundabout design from like the first rail video I did. So, yeah, we'll just, uh, if you want like, any more information, just go there. But for now, I'm just going to build it here, and we can get going. So let's go grab some resources, because I do not have any. Okay, so this junction will use uh, eight tickets, and each of these tickets is set up with a different route in mind. So each stretch of track that goes between junctions is going to have a unique name. This stretch of track over here is going to be called Aqueduct. This one over here is going to be called Grove. The one that goes to the north is going to be called Lavender. And the one that goes over that way is going to be called Sunflower. So normally you just put in like the Sunflower ticket over here to go to Sunflower. But a way of avoiding the tickets being used in the wrong spots, I want to have it so each side of this is a unique set of tickets. So basically the way we've done that is that we have these set as double barreled names. So these two here are set to Lavender Sunflower and Lavender Grove, which basically means that they are coming from the lavender out, which basically means they are coming from the lavender track over here and going to the sunflower track or going to the grove track. It's not massively necessary if you're just using your rail for getting from point A to point B, but I want to do sort of like tours and stuff around the server at some point. And to make sure that they work 100% of the time, it's just best to have unique tickets at every single like item filter. So uh, let's quickly put these in and we can get ourselves all sorted. So all the tickets are now in, and the way that this set roundabout is set up is that if you're coming from the duct direction, you'll go to the left by default towards Grove. But if you're coming from any of the other sides, you will go towards Ducks by default. Because basically, I want to set it up so the rails kind of all lead to spawn as like the, uh, just kind of like the hub for everything. So uh, this one over here, if I use no ticket, it should go to the left. Yep. Uh, but then if I put in Duct Lavender, it should go forward. Yep. And if I put in Duct Sunflower, it should go to the right. 
Yay. Okay, perfect. That is now all functional and the same is for all of the other sides as well. So now I just need to go to every single junction and replace the tickets with the new ones. And then we can finally start getting the rail up for public use. Though I say public use when really it's just, uh, it's just me and BH who have stations right now. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a work in progress. Okay, I have now gone through every single junction and set up the tickets. I'm pretty sure it's all sorted and stuff. So now I can get into programming the ticket machines and then we can do our first test run of the system. So over here inside the spawn station, I've started labeling all of the barrels with stations I know is going to exist. And inside each of these barrels will basically be all the tickets that are required to get to a destination. So right now, the only one I've got programmed is the BH barrel, which has a BH ticket and a Grove Blossom ticket. So these are the two tickets that are required to get you to BH's place. And now I have to do the same for my barrel, which is a CC and a Grove Blossom ticket as well. So now, to actually use this machine, I just need to go Q, Q, and that throws both the tickets into the machine. They get packed up into a minecart and sent over this way. There we go. Okay, so let's put down a minecart and we can go on our first test run of the new tickets. So here we are approaching our first roundabout, but uh, this is going to default as left, so no ticket will be used. And then we will go past Sprinkles and Cherry's place. So this bridge over here is going to go towards Cherry and Sprinkles Station. So that would be where the Cherry Sprinkles ticket is used. Then we will pass by this beautiful little forest here. This is where Grove gets its name. Now we are approaching up to the first T-junction that will be using a ticket. This will use up the Grove Blossom ticket, sending me to the left. And then we will use up the CC ticket to go inside of the station. And there we are. Look, I, I'm here now. Oh, I love it so much. I'll never get over how cool it is. It is just amazing. And that was a pretty simple route. Really, it just used a ticket there and here. But you can have way more complex routes if you wanted to get to some weird out of the way areas and stuff. But it is it's such a fun system and I love it so much. So, yeah, I think that is probably where I'm going to be leaving it for today. So, I really hope you enjoyed. I, I had a lot of fun making this episode, and I'm just so glad to have everything up and running. It's now just going to be a uh, case of adding more stations to the system to get as many people hooked up as possible. But it should be a lot faster to start actually connecting things up, and it's oh, I'm, I'm really excited. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!